David Benavides, Reckless Ellis. Above all, obey my commands at all time. First command is right now, touch gloves. When the bell rings, come out and box. The bell and round one, Benavides in the red with black and gold, Ellis in the black with white trim. And so ring box from Benavides. <laughs> and I see the, 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 the eyes, you know, locking Ellis right now before the, the bell. And of course, his nickname is a red flag. <laughs> but it's Ellis pushing the pace early. Ellis believes it's been harder for Benavides to get the early stoppages, and it's Ellis right now working on Benavides along the ropes. Benavides on knockouts, last one against Felipe Romero back in November 2015. So as the competition blocked the uh, Toledo at over 250 pounds, started boxing at 13. There's a left hand against Matt Korobov, and Korobov may be the most snake-bitten fighter in the scores for Benavides. Combination punching offense going. And of course, in his last fight, Benavides missed weight, but Ellis missed weight in his last fight as well. Play boxing. Oh. <laughs> one in the sport, I think. The biggest I, money maker in the game. I'm pretty sure there's some 147. <laughs> ring camp for this fight. Yeah, it's intriguing, isn't it? Because that's the the man that Benavides. First, first round. This second round is. The left hook by Benavides and misses with this. Tries to gauge the distance. There's a body shot by Benavides. You know, Benavides nice lands. He I'm liking how Ellis is using his jab, you know, it's in the beginning. The super middleweight division. We haven't seen evidence of that yet, but he'll get that punch uh, unlimbered before this fight. Kind of a firefight that Benavides usually loves, and it's creating a little excitement here in round two. He says, uh, but left hooks by Benavides. That right hand manages to sneak through the guard for Ellis, but Benavides now both of her a knockout knock punch. <laughs> yes, I would rather love oh, that. Those are sweet sound of these punches by Benavides oh, on Benavides. Ellis back. And he said, well, there's a nice left hook to the body and the right Send hand, it, it, instead of a, a, a knockout in the ring, he actually gets more. Flashing the jab, <laughs> leads with the right, and there's that hand. Nice watch with both men doing some things offensively. Ellis has never been down as a pro. Ellis counted right hand, a short right, and there's Benavides beginning to avoid Ellis's shot at Benavides. Time. From Benavides would be uh, impressive. Uh, Ellis missing. He is getting ready to launch his own shots, and there you see the four punch count. Uh, and we see Benavides. I, Benavides, I mentioned that he lands more jabs. Ronald Gavri uh, Gavriel, who he beat yes. to win his title, he was knocked down in that fight. The only time he's been down. And of course, he then became a two time champion against Anthony Durrell. But now he's beginning to put. And he's landing most of them. And I hear a symphony of leather here at the fight's fair. is down moving forward. Well, if we keep getting exchanges like that, it's going to be fun to watch, but Benavides now landing some big power punches. It's becoming so far really fun a uh, fight. Oh, backing up again because of Benavides, comes in with that left hook. There's a counter right by Ellis. Under 30 seconds left in the third, double jab by Ellis. Now leaning in, and oh, he almost ate that right up. He's got to start going back to that instead of just moving backwards. <laughs> Cut. Both fighters throwing. There's a lead right cross by David Benavides. A round. A great round for the former two time 168 pound champion. All right, I talked about hearing a symphony of leather. But restrictions here at the fight sphere isn't the easiest. <laughs> yes, he's he... left. And we'll likely see that again. Past the midpoint of the fourth round. Ellis for some time. Benavides, of course, trained by his... Sam Irin, the assistant. Really, they've uh, credited with getting Benavides in shape. Wait again, and of course, uh, Abner, as uh, Ellis comes back with the right hand. Uh, David Benavides, not the first back on a regular Speaking basis. Speaking of firing, uh, there's some fire to the body by David Benavides, and in many ways, on the ropes, trying to 
Absorb this <laughs> offense from Benavides and Ellis. We haven't seen that in this fight. Yet. Right uppercut by Ellis, and then uppercuts on the inside by Benavides. Ellis acquit himself well, wants to move up the pecking order. And again, under 30 seconds left here in the fourth, the jab. And there's a counter right by Benavides. And Ronald Ellis, we've come to the end of four rounds at the fight sphere. Explained it a little bit to Benavides, and he, you know, he, he has some thinking with that. And great job. Yeah. Mm, I like what Ellis is doing. <laughs> great body work. Oh, great jab. Yeah, clipped uh, Benavides, but then Benavides chopping. Uh, you gotta go back. All of us look forward to the days when we have an audience back in the arenas, but a fight like this. Right now. He's a, he's a... Ellis puts himself on the rope. It's a combination from Benavides. Pivots and now Benavides. Ellis is thinking before he throws his one, two, and Benavides trying to see where to, where to land the jab and then go to the body. Combination scores for Benavides. The jab and new nice counter. Jab by Ellis. And, and they're both over. Good exchange here in the final seconds of the fifth. Let's go. Ah. Let's go. And there we see the good good work from uh, Ellis, yeah, but it's always been Avidas who goes in there and, you know, always finishes with the combination. Man, time to go here in round six. But you, you have to like the count. Yeah. It's the, the, yes. the attitude. Yes, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I, and I've been saying this since the last round. I, I should have against one of the best at 168. Yeah, you are absolutely right. Remember, Benavides said he would have him out before round six. Back. And yet he is in the line of fire. Benavides putting it on him now with these body shots left. Left uppercut, but Ellis is at the right distance here, Abner. He is teeing on Ellis. Yeah, he definitely is teeing off. He's landing those inside punches, though. The uppercut. Remember, in. Ellis has never been down as a pro and showcasing a in our opener, but Ellis there feeling the power of Benavides and then trying to hold, get into the second half of this full round affair. Iran, even more success for him as he kept ripping those right hands to the head of Ellis, who kind of turned out. see some examples of some of them, and a lot of them were power packed as he got Ellis on the ropes. We got Benavides, you know, cornering him, backing him up with those inside punches. Those are the best ones, especially when you have a. In that fight, Ellis achieved almost perfect balance, throwing 398 jabs, 300. Yeah, he hasn't been able to land the right as much as he wanted, Ellis. You know, he comes back with activity and he comes back with accuracy. And that's been the thing. Benavides has in increased the number of jabs. And I, I like what Steve Farhart took to the body. He told us, and now, of course, to the jab and the body shots, and yet doing a good job of headhunting. Said, yeah, Benavides will let you, you know, throw a few shots, but he'll come back with something. A little bit of following just, you know, uh, Ellis instead of cutting the ring. Right, step back, don't punch. Like, you know, he'll come back with his own. Oh, beautiful Solid right, right hand. hand by David Benavides, 45. <laughs> for round than any other super middleweight and he uses the jab there to set up the right hand. you see him oh those are two mo monstrous jabs and he continues hand. some big power punches against ronald ellis and follows up with the lead right hand so uh, and you know he, he had all those fake friends those people that were just you know turning them even though ellis is still fighting oh, back what a left hand hook to the body out by he just turned 24 uh this december 17 i believe and um, he, he's got a lot of growing to do when he's doing fighter. Yeah, he, he's maturing. I mean, he's not. He, he's got to throw it again. That body shot definitely hurt him. Oh, right uppercut, another uppercut, another uppercut. And now, David Bishop. Ronald Ellis has held together and not What does he do offensively? Wow, there it is again. Lead left hook and a right cross. That body that. shot hurt. And he's still fighting back. Yep. astonishing. 30 seconds. Ronald Ellis uh, maybe uh, earned it. 20 seconds left in the eighth. And Ellis just landed a very nice right hand. It just didn't do anything. Ten to seconds of the eighth. Ellis finds himself along the ropes. The concern about Ronald Ellis in that corner by the ring officials is because of this. I mean, he took so many shots. Spider who's superior to him. And that's really all. Abner Benavides.
ring IQ on display as well. The punch, the he, he throws every punch with power. It's not, he sets back here for, for doing what he can. He's trying to acquit himself as well as can be expected. And he has his, he's taking a lot of punishment. And yet, here he is, Ali, still game in round nine. Yeah, round, round also. Nice, beautiful body punch there. He's trying to go for it again. But he's not satisfied, satisfied with just Again, the, the, the responsibility of the quarter and how much they care for yes. their fighter courage. Uh, Shabalala telling us the body capitulates. He yes. will not go away quietly. No. Yes, but you know, you know he still wants to fight, but at the end of the day, I think he's respect. He is earning respect, as, and yeah, he's earning a beating as well from David Benavides. It's the nature of the beast. He's never been 12 rounds in his career. He's been 10. Uh, Benavides is 2-0 and over 12. But you know what it is. I'm sorry. No, no, um, you know, he's landing almost, you know, right hand. Is, I want to call that jab a right hand, even though it's right a left. It's always the, the powerful one. But in this case, Benavides oh, okay. has both hands that are power. Benavides again attacking the body. You know, David Benavides a lot of times squares himself yes. up, but he doesn't get hit okay. in, that, yeah. in that posture a lot, which is interesting. Based on what you've seen up to this point, Abner. Uh, I think the only thing is cut off the ring a little bit more. He, you know, he's done a superb job to the body as well. And a kid testament to under 30 seconds left here in round number 10. Left hand by Benavides. Yeah, you could almost forget to praise the body work by Ben. Ellis Corner wants him to, of course, the basics. To be on display, courtesy of Al Bandera Roja. By the end of the round, it was Benavides again landing that right hand. It looked like they were going to go well for Ellis. Uh, he was using the. Oh, he corner does because they've warned him before. If he continues to take. Uh, Ronald Ellis, so this is uncharted. Revision and, well, Ronald Ellis. He's going to have to dig it down deep as he's been doing throughout the fight. Oh, the, yeah, and a big, big win for Terrell Gucci yeah. to kick off the night and a big display. David Benavides' technique here in round 11, Abner. He is hitting the body, the head. He is just straight. Of course, won earlier this evening by knockout. He was the that uh, Ellis beat to win the Golden Gloves championship, so. <laughs> Watching very intently with Ellis pinned in the corner. And now Benavides unloading on Ronald Ellis. And Ellis, the veteran. Um, he, he learned a lot from this fight. He showed a lot. He showed hard. He, he indication that we're get ready for the end of this match. Man, he is fighting fire with fire, and you got. No, I'm not saying he's not. And that's you're absolutely right, Abner. And in boxing, especially, a loss is so devastating when really it should be a more and more learning experience. Yes, Ronald yes. Ellis has earned his bone fight tonight. Losing this fight, he has earned his bone Great no, no, no. stoppage no, no, no. by the referee. No, 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 no. And still undefeated, El Bandera Roja, David.